Happy holidays, everybody. Merry Christmas, whatever you're celebrating. Welcome back, Five Nine Gamers, to the Five Nine Gaming Ultra Space Time Podcast. Today, episode 65. And I'm just kidding. Let's go over here. Today, we are joined by none other than Riku the Best. How are you doing, man? I am having an ultra Christmas holiday oh, today. I'm doing all right. Thank you for asking. You know, you're good for today, by the way. Everyone enjoy uh, this. I, I was hoping you would say that. Of course. <laughs> and uh, of course, for the occasion, we also recruited back Goresh. How's your day, man? Uh, it's good. And I just saw uh, Riku's avatar thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I think that's one of your channel emotes on Twitch, right? That's me every time I get perfect vanish, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you if you haven't done so, make sure to follow Riku over on Twitch as well. And um, we're not just joined by those two. You can see it on the screen. We have uh, Balamore back in here. How are you doing? Hello, guys. I'm doing well. And the self-proclaimed best Gogeta Blue player. Is that still a thing, <laughs> ZBG? No, it's not a thing. Gogeta Blue's ass now. <laughs> All right, we're starting it with a strong statement. Um, I like it. Um, so today we're going to talk about Ultra Gogeta. Obviously, we're going to talk about the banner. We also got some announcements about changes to the rating point system in PvP. Uh, we're, we get some updated Awakening uh, equips or Awakened equips uh, on Wednesday when Ultra Space Time Russia resets. And uh, yeah, we're going to speculate a little bit about the potential green Super Gogeta Zenkai and the free-to-play Pot Freezer that was announced in reveals and stuff. So I'm just going to head it over to Goresh. Um, how do you like Ultra Gogeta? You think he is, uh, I don't know, everything you were hoping for? Uh, yeah, I mean, let's just say I like him now, right? While he's new and fresh and stuff. Hopefully it doesn't turn into a 14-month span of him being annoying in PvP. No, but fair. uh yeah, no, I, I think they did a really good job with this unit. Obviously, the first summon of Ultra, they had to make him really, really powerful and really, really good. Um, he pretty much does everything you would expect for uh, the first summon of Ultra character to do. He's a pretty, I would say, easy to use character. I think they, did, they definitely did that on purpose, designed him in a way so that even like a newer player can jump in and make good use out of him. Uh, the green card, I think, is one of the deciding factors of why he's as good as he is right he is able to nullify special cover changes just by using the green card he has card draw speed so it's able to uh he's able to easily string together a combo to pretty much always draw a blue card at the end destroy your enemy's hand and then just reset for the next combo right blast armor gets key back on strike cards and then to top it all off he gets that really i think unfair locking ability <laughs> um I found because I've actually used him a lot in PvP, but at this point, if you if the enemy has a Super Gogeta on their team, and you have no Vanish and you kill an enemy character, you're gonna lose a character. It's just that simple. So I I, I kind of think they might have overdone it a little bit with that locking ability, but yeah, this guy is up there. <laughs> he's he's up there. Yeah, for sure. I think he's he's pretty. Pretty busted, <laughs> putting it lightly. Um, obviously expected that the first ultra would be better. Hold on. <laughs> obviously expected that the first ultra. Would be, sorry, the backness went past the road or whatever. But obviously that the first ultra would be you know insanely broken, and he is. Um, I think uh, most people have him the best unit in the game at the worst, number two, behind Goku and Vegeta. But I think he's he's probably better than them. Uh, obviously, as Greer said, the locking is I think a bit too much because. You pretty much lose a character if you kill the enemy's character, and that shouldn't really be the case. You imagine of FSK in a sense, where like if you kill that character, then if if if, if, if FSK touched you, you're just gonna die, right? So overall, yeah. I think he's he's great, obviously, a bit overtuned on that aspect. And um first ultra, he's probably the best, he's the best in the game, expected. So it's not anything that we weren't, you know, expecting. Should shouldn't be surprised about it at all. And yeah, he's. I think I think one thing too is Z ability is really good. Uh, Forty two percent, like <laughs> that's Z ability is insane. Ultra ability is also fantastic, and he just works on pretty much every team in the game, similar to Goku and Vegeta. You just slap him on any team leader, and he's just putting work. He doesn't need any specific team to do what he does. And yeah, don't forget, he goes type neutral on that locking ability as well. So even if you have mm -hmm. a green unit, you're still dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I noticed that uh, in the pre-show a couple of times. Yeah, he hurts. He hurts. It's it's a big ouch. Um, 
But honestly, he's also, yeah, as you said, Goreshi is easy to use since he has blast armor on pretty much everything. And I like that he has a stop time green card, which, um, I mean, the red Gogeta and the Gogeta blue are lacking, you know, so it's a double-edged sword sometimes. I love being able to stop time. He gets key back. He gets the, the uh, cover nullification for 10 counts, which is pretty insane. And then also permanent uncancelable card draw speed. And I feel like that's... Like his, he, as you said, he does everything, and uh, yeah, I'm happy that I got him, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, the main reason why the stop time is so powerful is because of his blast armor, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also because of his green card, giving sure that people cannot cover. There is so many cover units nowadays, and it uh, really helps when he used the green card and can just combo and combo. Yeah, yeah, or it can just be like me and never start off with a green card within like the first 10 to 15 counts and I'm just sitting there <laughs> like, why? Why Why is this happening? <laughs> but it's crazy to think this man has 100% damage that you can't cancel. Like, it's just a permanent buff. That's ridiculous. But yeah, like you guys said, I do think he is a little overtuned. I, I think he would have done fine without the lock-in since he has the type nullification, yeah. the cover change nullification for 10 counts as well, all the piercing and the time stopping and all like it's a he's a very good unit i find it funny we get these two broken overly tuned units and there are movies and we just well i don't want to get too much into the hybrids but coming off of like a hybrid meta and i want to say it's kind of refreshing but i i really do like the unit i don't have them that many stars i will be summoning for more definitely with the stars on him i definitely think he's worth it and you know i feel like they had to send a message with the first summonable ultra you know Definitely set apart from the free ultra units to see the big difference between them, you know? <laughs> big, yeah. big difference. I, I was actually thinking about the lock-in thing that he has and the type nullification. And I was like, you know, how did how would they ch how would I, if I was if I was developing this unit, how would I change that to be like more fair, I guess? And I think the way that I would do it is I would only have it activated if a fusion warrior ally is defeated, I think. I think I would limit that to the fusion warrior team. Yeah, to make it more strict. If you have that ability go off with like Bardock on your team, like yikes, you you That's... actually you actually will just kill somebody every time. Hundred <laughs> percent, yeah. They should have j just made that a little more strict, like you said, with you know fusions. Either if you, well, I wouldn't say movies because we are dealing with Goku Vegeta <laughs> tag, and then yeah. the other movies characters like Revival uh, Go On, which is insane still. And it's like yeah, like you said have it restrict the restriction for only like a, a fusion warrior getting defeated where you get that ability off i think that would have been a lot better but you could still you could still play blue blue purple with bardock and super um, vegeto right oh oh yeah 100 percent. so, in, <laughs> so in, in, a, in a way yeah, it's true. it's still as busted if you just let super vegeto die and then you're like i don't yeah. care about colors anyways you're green so what <laughs> I feel like I almost have to apologize for running him on a crit variation of a team. Like, I feel like I just almost have to apologize, dude, because no match lasts more than, like, 20 counts. And it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I think one of the more underrated yeah. things about this unit is the fact that he destroys all enemy cards on blue card because you always end the combo with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're, Unless, always, yeah you're, always, you're, you're always able to reset the playing field like every time you finish a combo. It's so stupid. And you have card <laughs> yeah, draw speed, which the broken. opponent might not even have. So you actually might get cards back faster. Oh, uh, yeah. They literally can't retaliate. It's um, it's pretty insane. And one thing I want to I say is that the fact that he doesn't have any um, card penetration on his blue card or his ultimate, I think is pretty interesting. Obviously, it'd be way too broken if you had that, right? That'd be pretty insane so it's it, they kind of noticed that and they kind of took it away from him completely like he has no cup penetration at all which i find interesting the modern unit doesn't have that on their kit but do you think it he needs sense. that without broken it no nah, he doesn't <laughs> that's why that's why they, they took it off him because it's like it would be way too broken if he had it <laughs> yeah that's what i think too it's like he doesn't need that someone in chat said they should have made the the type nullification exclusive to pycon allies Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, if they if they released like a really solid like sparking PyCon on this banner, then I could see it. But no, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, unless they can Senkai the PyCon, we have to. It, any one of oh. them could be get a Senkai. His Zenkai yeah. abilities would just be nothing but death buffs towards the only Super Gogeta Ultra. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, and then you or... play him and, and then pull a Ryudan and play him with, with PyCon and um, Future Gohan or something. 
Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Quintuple card draw speed forever or something. It's uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, how about no? You yeah, know. You, you, it'd be like you draw so many cards you draw a card before you even click your card for like it just be yeah. in the back waiting like yeah. oh my goodness like if you if you have an that empty hand you can always just click anywhere and it'll just trigger the next card instantly That'd be yeah. touch the screen you get a card as <laughs> simple as that you know oh you wanted to switch out sorry here's a blue card <laughs> so one one so, thing one thing that oh sorry go ahead battle no, I was just uh, thinking of uh, how. What do you guys think of uh, when uh, they are comparing Gogeta with uh, Goku and Vegeta? I was thinking that too. I think I said I said I said this before the podcast, but I think they're in the same tier. But Gogeta is, is a step above them, if that makes sense. Obviously, you know the lock in, um, the instant damage, the card draw speed permanently. Um, but I still think that Goku and Vegeta have some things that you know Gogeta doesn't, like you know. The tag switching, you know, at the will. Um, the vanish on, on the blue card for Goku. Obviously, the, the healing of Goku and Vegeta. So, I'd say they're pretty they're pretty close, but I'd say Gogeta edges them out, I think. I don't, I don't think it's as big as of a gap as people are making out to be. You know what's funny about the comparison between those two units? is like they're so the polar opposites of each other because Goku and Vegeta are doing like 5 billion different mechanics. Like they're doing so yeah. much. Yeah. And then Gogeta comes in and he's like, well, here's a strike card that does 2 million damage. Enjoy. <laughs> <That's it>. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, one thing I'm interested in is what uh, Ryudin brought up. And I'm just going, to, just going to read what he wrote in the Discord. Is I think it's worth discussing the implications of Ultras having two leader abilities as well as the power creep these new units exhibit. Whether it's a good thing or not, and how um, this was what the community wanted. So, what do you think about him having two different abilities depending on whether he's in the leader slot or not? Uh, well, I mean, it's not really two different ones. It's just he gets the full leader, or he gets the full ultra ability in the leader slot, right? Because mm -hmm. technically, you're going to get that same full um, uh, ultra ability if you're on a fusion warrior team, even if he's not in the leader slot. Um, I guess the the, way, the reason they did it that way is just because take a look at like Ultra Omega for an example. Ultra Omega's Ultra ability is specific to GT, so you actually can't use him. Well, you can use him on the powerful opponent team, but he's not going to be getting that Ultra ability effect, right? Mm -hmm. And I guess they just wanted to avoid a situation like that because now that we have the leader slot active or the leader slot in the game, it's uh, it's going to make it a lot more difficult to use Ultra abilities that are like super super specific to certain tags and that's i think a really good thing that they did with the the ultra ability for this gojita i i think it makes sense especially for the first summitable ultra that they didn't want to force you to only use them on one team to get all all of his damage you know so you have movies like a blue blue purple movies you have the fusion warriors you can run them on saiyans if you want but you know and, and just have some like bench fusion warriors or whatnot but yeah just a variety of teams he can be ran on and unfortunately that omega doesn't have that yeah. Yeah, that Omega is a GT unit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of GT, but you know, <laughs> I, I do like Omega. I think. Fair enough. So, so uh, what are your favorite teams to play Gogeta on, and what are the best ones in your opinions? Let's start Ooh. with ZBG. <laughs> I think the best is probably. I think it, it, it's tough because I want to say fusions, but then I'm watching this video right now of Grishu is in Super Saiyans and he's just destroying everything. So I'd say either Super Saiyans or fusions, but I think fusions has the, you know, the endurance with Oob. And they, they also have Gogeta 4 on the team, which I think is one of the best units in the game right now. Um, but either team, I think, is like pretty good for him. Super Saiyans, Blue Purple in particular with the Super Vegito, Gogeta and Bardock. Um, movies is, is, is good too with Rabbit Gohan because he does have that Bojack uh, mechanic for no reason where he does reduce sub count. So if you are running a revive or endurance unit with him, you can just pretty much guarantee that, you know, they can take the rush essentially, right? So I think that synergy is really powerful on movies with, with, with um, Rabbit Gohan and Goku Vegeta, of course. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's all his teams are pretty busted if we're being real. Like there's no, you know, team that's not busted that he can be ran on. But I'd say fusions and then Super Saiyan and then movies. In my opinion. Rush, what do you say? Um, I would say it's it's it, it, I don't I don't think there's one like best team to run him on. I think he's just dominant in all of them. Obviously, he's meant to be used on fusion warriors and super saiyans, right? That's what his 
Z ability is, is buffing. And I guess technically just Saiyans too, right? You could also just run them on there. Um, I, I guess it doesn't matter where you run him. Like, it's just like you just run him on any team. And again, that just goes into the whole point that I made earlier about him just being super easy to use, right? You can just use him on any team and he's dominant, right? He, he, he's not like a... He's not a character that's like, okay, you have to use him on this team or that team. Like with Gohan, like he really wanted to be used on uh, Hybrid Saiyans. Not the case with this guy. You can really use him on whatever team you want. True. Obviously, him being a Super Saiyan, you want to run him with Bardock, though. That's ultimately going to be his best team. Like I no, cannot no take him away from Bardock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you guys think Bardock is, is, was a good designed unit? Hell no. Of course not. <laughs> I remember I when, I, when he were. first Maybe. came out, the... The critical is actually applied to top hits, and I did that, like that seventy percent damage. In the day. Yeah, <laughs> like no, I don't think that was really good design at all. <laughs> I don't understand what you mean. What? <laughs> <laughs> what I don't understand is why they give it to Shala that Super Saiyan too. Uh, like, I really like. It's hard for me to take Gogeta away from Burdock. Like, I I think. He, I think he's really, really good on the fusion where he definitely with the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta now having his platinum equipment. And he's a lot better. And of course, Majub as well with the endurance and, you know, the AOE green and also nullification for a uh, cover entry. It's like fusion Warrior is just such a safe team with the three. And it's so fun to use now. I enjoy fusions a lot more, but I, I can't say which one is number one because I think like Goresh said, he's, he's really good on all, all the variations of team he can be. Brand on. I prefer them probably still like blue, blue, purple with movies or whatnot, or it can just be like Super Gogeta or Super Vegito and then Bardock and that variation as well. Like it's just so many ways you can just put him on a team and like he'll still be good, you know? So I don't think there's any wrong answer to be honest. Yeah. Fair. And then how do you guys, um, how did you guys equip him? Is, uh, is there a, a specific build that you, you made for him? Or anything you focused on? Uh, uh, well, strike damage uh, crits a sp special move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that's what I was gonna say too. Uh, I think the new gold document <laughs> from the SV event or whatever is pretty optimal on him. Like I'd say, like pretty optimal on him. And the new awakening that's gonna come out, I think next week or something. The memory for it, the um, the awakened ha, huh? that gives like every stat in the game. Like that's pretty good too. And then you think the new awakened yeah. equipment's gonna be pretty good? The the, the two awakened equipment? Maybe. Do you think 35% strike attack is we'll, good? We'll talk about this in a little bit. Don't spoiler, okay? <laughs> it's literally a unique equipment, dude. It's it's actually just a unique equipment. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just bit, the, the guy is gonna be like yeah. that and the and the new SV gold equipment, I think are gonna be the two most optimal equipments on him. And then the third can be like a pure pure strike or whatever, depending on the team. Is there one for fusions? Oh, is... Yeah, there's a fusion yeah. pure strike attack. It's the one with Vegeta, Vegito in his base form doing the Yosha pose or whatever. Yeah, I, it's, I think uh, it's, it's in the shop. I think it's I think it's twenty percent strike, ten percent HP, and ten percent special move. Is that what it is? No, no, he's talking about the um the pure, pure strike, strike right? Fusions. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, the base yeah. form Vegito one. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. I think I think it's in the equipment middle shop or something. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the all right equip. Yeah. Yeah, that is the Yosha. Someone nice said shot. the Awakened one with Vegeta on the cover. Do you mean the Awakened, um, it's time to go wild? I think that's pretty good too, because it gives um, health restoration, which Gojira would want, because he does restore 15% HP after his gauge fills up. Also, gives ultimate damage and special move damage with um, double defense. That's pretty good too. God, like, he has a lot of God, good he's equipments, so honestly. good. Jeez. Yeah, he has, a, <laughs> he has a lot of good equipments, man. Like, there's a did, lot of options he can run. Did you just say cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's cheese. the easiest way. To, it's not even super go cheating, which is cheese. Super cheese go cheese go cheese Yep. Go cheese <laughs> Ultra cheese. <laughs> That's definitely true. Not a lot of holes in there. It's not very Swiss that cheese. Because uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, the only thing that the only thing that would have made him like broken, 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 I guess, is like endurance or revival, because. You know, that's the rising rush is so common in this meta. It's just everywhere, literally. So mm -hmm. that's the one thing. I think that's also why people bring Majub aside from his support yeah. is just to have this this little bit of just security against. Question. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I mean, that's also Ew. why I played Future for the longest time when I was uh, still not rising rushing, just because 
This way you can stall out until you kind of build an advantage, and then when the Rising Rush comes, it's not so bad anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the, I mean, the bo bonus with this Gogeta is that he has, if someone rushing rush while he's on the field, it uh, reduces sub count. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they basically force you to keep that unit and just make them safe. Say, nah, we're going to give somebody else away. Keep using your yeah. ultra. Yeah. Keep using them, king. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy uh, my jupe. <laughs> I mean, that that ability by itself makes him insanely good on movies because it allows you to make uh, Revival Gohan pretty much always able to eat a rush, right? It's the same with, same with Red yeah. Bojack. Or Bo true. Yeah, Bojack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. You just use like a green, um, a green card with the, re the Revival Gohan. And then you get five, so you only need like two counts and you're back. Yeah. That's pretty insane. I didn't even think about I that, to one, be honest. I think one thing that's pretty pretty busted on him is, is, is his ultimate giving him 30 counts of endurance notification. And I, I, guess a, I guess a team like Future, that's pretty powerful. Like, you know, pop the main early, get out of the way, then it'll stretch freely. That's pretty powerful. I'd say we're That's just going good. down the list and seeing like every ability and they're all just so stupid. They, over yeah, it is. they pretty much gave him every good ability in the past five months. If we're being like, they gave him everything, man, <laughs> for no reason. The only thing he doesn't have is anti revival, which he doesn't need because good. He definitely much, yeah. does not need that. Yeah, he doesn't need that at all. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I think I think there's enough meta anti revival units that like revival units are already crippled enough. I think. Yeah, they, that's true. This guy really didn't need one. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, you also want to play you know, some other units as well, like revival units at one point. I guess they also didn't want to cripple them too much, so you can you can still run revival Gohan and yeah, sometimes I was having so much fun when I was playing, you know, like with when you play with trunks, the sort of hope trunks, and then you just swap yeah. in for the like, taps so he revives with like forty percent HP or something. <laughs> and you're like, psych. Mm. <laughs> I hope I see more we're like realm trunks again sort of hope trunks again i know literally he just came out and it's like right now it just seems like super gojita is taking over like yeah for sure I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, vegeta I, I, but that's i don't think that's i don't think that's a testament to like him not being good enough i think it's just it, it's gojita people want to use gojita. Yeah. 100 yeah. yeah yeah also <laughs> trunks is kind of limited to different teams like vegeta clan and future meanwhile oh. gojita is still like everywhere on every team yeah, sure, you true. can cheese it a little bit. Like, uh, at least with Vegeta family, you can still put, like, two future Vegeta clan on there. You know, like, yeah. the future Vegeta, the, the uh, is he ranged? Yeah, yeah, the purple one and another future Vegeta clan on there just to cheese it so I can get endurance. I but, mean, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. I mean, he's really strong with his endurance, but uh, I feel like Super Gogeta, with his two alts, by the way, it's ridiculous by like, nullifying that. They're like, okay, this is your last unit. Let me just give you this W card real quick. You might want to use it so you can get that uh, so you can win. <laughs> like, they slide him another ultimate art. Like, uh, I forget that even happens. Like, oh my goodness, thank you. So kind. Uh, yeah, but actually that also is a double-edged sword because for me, I actually got surprised by it, by it twice I in the last it. hour. <laughs> I clicked it when I wanted to use yes. a blast card and I lost the game because of that. It comes well, in at the worst times, yeah. 100%. <laughs> also, then, it comes on the worst way you click the card you want to use. It's always on that card you want to use next. Yeah, it <laughs> always is. Like, when I try to vanish, I mistakenly swipe the ultimate right after I vanish. Oh, no, I hope you don't vanish, like, right after, dude. Please, that was a misclick. Yep. So. Please let me win. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yo, can we talk about his, like, ultimate art animation to where he just, like like break his hips like the way he twists for like where's that a super art? is that a super art animation or is it ultimate art animation where he just twists his body and does the kamehameha like it's it looks super it's the yeah, blue it's, card, yeah 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 the blue card is super like that looks so painful dude like my side just starts hurting every time he does that it's like oh he twists so much when he does it. <laughs> he did that he did at. that yoga dude yo right he uh yeah too man <laughs> I mean, if you look at the different Gogeta, he's kind of, yeah, you know. No, explain. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> On the spot. <laughs> but yeah, it's like next unit, Aerial Gogeta, Aerial Yoga Gogeta confirmed. <laughs> Easy. You know, one unit I would love to see like in the next few months, I doubt it'll happen, but I would love to see like an LF Bardock. I want to see a big swarm Bardock again. Because I really enjoyed that transforming, that Rhea Bardock when he came out. Minus the fact that he locks in, but I don't like lock-in abilities. Not for 10 counts. But 
just seeing Bardock used at that time, it was like, man, I, I love Bardock. I, I would like to see another Bardock. Hopefully, L off, but you know, that's an unpopular opinion at this point. Nah, bro, Ultra Bardock, we need that. Oh, I'll take that even even better. I'm just trying to get another Bardock, Bardock that's not Super Saiyan 1. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. No crates, no more. Please, no more Super Saiyans. Yes, no more Super Saiyans. Yeah, imagine, imagine he will be purple, and then you can run Bardock, blue Bardock, purple Bardock, and uh, Gogeta. That'd be fine. Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> ask my parents. Oh, no. I ask myself that every day. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about his banner. Um, Riku, do you think that they did him justice with the banner? Or would you have liked to see something different? <laughs> it's better. So it has like, what, four steps and the last one is free. Banner is definitely weird. Um, the fact that it lasts, what, like nine more days? It's it's like they want you to just rush in and get him while it's, it's like get it while it's hot. You know what I mean? Like hot and ready. Little Caesars. They just want you to get him immediately before the banner goes away because we don't know when it will come back. And I, I still think he's such a good unit. I think the banner is like whatever, but I'm just trying to think of it from a perspective of like free to play. Would you value this over, you know, the Goku Vegeta banner? Because that's a really good banner. Goku I mean, Vegeta one. I mean, this one has blue tanks and red cell and green Goku black on it, so the answer is pretty obvious, right? Don't forget blue Broly from 2018 is on this banner too. Don't forget that because I pulled him. <laughs> there is don't, don't so many that. old units in this banner; it's ridiculous. Yeah, I've heard I've heard people call this one the Masters Pack banner. To be honest, I said that I I do think that it's a glorified yeah. Master Pack with Gogeta four and Super Gogeta on it, but I I I think that the Trunks banner and Goku Vegeta banner definitely have better value. Just because mm -hmm. those have, you know, 1800 Z power, this only at 600. It, it felt hella weird only getting six, 600 Z power on Sparkings again. It felt really, really, really weird. And the fact that yeah. most of the units are terrible, I... I <laughs> the banner sucks, but he has the best unit in the game. So obviously you have to summon on it, right? So it just is what it is. Well, honestly. It also it also has Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on it. Yeah, That's so the only other good units. Are, <laughs> pretty so two units out of like a hundred are pretty good on the banner. Dude, I just scrolled but for no. ten kilometers and now I'm at the extreme section. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> this is uh, this is pretty crazy. Like yeah. Um, but how did you feel about the two thousand Z power? That's dope. That's that's amazing. Honestly, like I I was worried that they would only give like a thousand, but two thousand phenomenal. Amazing move. Amazing move on their part. Yeah, I think that in combination with the double rates yeah. is like mm -hmm. it's fine. It's like it's good. Like people were worried about I, I, me included, right? I, I made a whole video talking about like, dude, they they can't screw up the ultra rates. Like they're gonna make it, they're gonna make them terrible. Like this is fine <laughs> in my opinion. So I remember there was the a string of videos this, where people were talking about this, right? It's like, okay, Legends better not mess this up. I think it was like you, Ryudan, Rhyme Style, and Nano, and other people making those videos about. Yeah, I. I I'm not, I mean, I can't say this with certainty, but I'm pretty sure that like they got the picture from that from those from those videos, yeah. Yeah, because I kind of remember that one. But yeah, this the two two thousand Z power man. I mean, you need five five copies and you're done. And also, if you only want to get in for one copy, because Rico also said, you know, the free to play perspective, you just mm -hmm. want to get one copy. You're five stars. Uh, the only thing is. Um, the question is, when or will we ever get uh, ultra multi Z power? Probably not very not very soon, right? Not in the near future, I would say, because we just got our first summonable ultra, so I can't expect yeah. them to be, you know, that nice at least, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. One thing I will say is that the step two, the double rates, is a lie. Every no, 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 I refuse to believe that's true. Dude, my I first copy it. came from that step, and I think two more copies came from that step. That's I like how bombs. Again, I like how I was like, you know what? I'm either going to pull Gogeta on step two or step four, and I, I ended up pulling them on step four. I was like, oh, big shocker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Every time I summoned a rotation on this, on the free step four, I literally got the high rarity ones. Uh, I was like, is this a thing? Did they change it? So the step two is the from the three to one. It felt like it. You think they mixed it up? I felt it felt like it. 
Because I got all my Ultra Gogeta through the free steps. Also all my oh. LFs too. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Uh, I mean... Do you th I was going to say, do you think the future summonable Ultras will always have like a lower step up type of banner to where it's only like four steps instead of like the usual four or seven or plus steps? Do you guys I mean, think that? I think they're they always tested things it. out. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See the reception I think one of the, uh, <clears throat> the one thing I would say that, that would make this banner better, um, and that, that honestly they should have done, is is put the summon coin mechanic in here because I don't, like, if they were scared of people getting Gogeta quote-unquote too easily with the summon coins, just make them cost more, right? But you can still have the shop. KCC. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can still have the shop with, like, the Z power in it and stuff, right? So even mm -hmm. if you don't have enough coins to buy, like, the actual unit, you could buy Z power. True. Yeah, so that way you uh, you can have a chance at at least getting one copy, no matter how much you summon, you know? And not go in, like, 100 KCC like uh, Dino did for Super Vegito. Uh, rest <laughs> yeah. in peace. But, mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know, would you would you also throw in uh, copies of the unit or, you know, Ultra Z power on those banners? Because I think that for them, that will be too early, probably. No, it doesn't have to be Ultra Z power. Just, like, Legends Limited Z power because there's still LFs in the banner. Or you could just put regular Z power in there if you want. Or you could have tickets that gives you a chance up for ultra units. That's way too yeah, yeah, tickets as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would hmm. say it's a good start for a for summonable ultra banner. But you know, this this feedback is definitely necessary. So they can like tweak it and have ideas for like the next summonable ultra banner. You know? Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah. Are you yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But how how do you guys feel about the steps? Like I, because personally, I don't think it's that bad because you can like make a rotation with three thousand chronos, so you get four multis. It's I don't know. It doesn't feel so bad to me. I have to say. Yeah, it doesn't feel bad at all. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a yeah, good first. I actually first feel it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'd say. But the bottom line for me. It can be improved. The bottom line for me is a lot of people, again, including me, were worried about the summonable ultra rates and how bad the banner would be. And at the end of the day, I think. It's fine. The way it turned out was fine. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, I hope it stays I think... like this rate. I feel like if they lowered it even more, people would rage more. Dude, they can't do that. <laughs> they cannot yeah. lower they it. They should think. never go under like 0.25 like ever. Because that's like yeah. the, the first... Um, That's how that's the original LF units, right? 0.25? Yeah. Yeah. Before... Yeah. They mean, should could never we... go under there. I mean, it could be if it's the LF Ultra in the future. Who knows? I love Ultra. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Tread softly. <laughs> tread softly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I step back. I step back. I, I Dude, Don't I give them back. ideas. What the heck? <laughs> I think one thing that they should do is like just at least make the LF filler um, good overall. I'd say is one thing that because it's funny if you have like also reduce the amount of 2018, 2019 sparkings in the banner, please. Uh, uh, at least do that, man. At least. <laughs> at least. Because there should never be a time where I should summon on a multi and get blue Broly, green Bardock, and nah, I, I think that's kind of bad. It's all that, good. You say aspect. that now, the next banner is going to have uh, Super Saiyan 3 Ray Goku featured on there. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, actually pulled him. I actually pulled him, actually, on, on this I, I Yo, I, I think I did. I was like, I still don't have a max. That's crazy. You know? <laughs> He's like, what, 13 stars right now? I was like, oh, my God. I still don't have this man max. How long has he been out? So... I mean, there are a lot of old units that uh, not everyone pull. I mean, I had the uh, cooler, you know, the Senkai one, a two star for two years. I keep pulling Hero Pan. How do you live with yourself? <laughs> uh, Oof. <sighs> so yeah, the P and PTSD I've... is for Pan, yeah? Yes. Pan traumatic stress disorder, I see. It, it, it's somewhere in that same acronym is like a, a small R for Regal. Like, <laughs> help me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I would say also yeah, put some put some more interesting LF units in there, and that banner would have been great. Um, that Super Saiyan Four Gogeta actually dropped a couple of times for me. I'm happy I didn't get too many Gogeta Blues or Ultra Instincts, but <laughs> yeah, it's like oh wait, I can't say that I got UI. Damn it! Somewhere Truth is in the oh. corner crying, dude. <laughs> I, I can, I I can hear... feel it. Yeah, dude, I hear he summoned so many Gogeta blows when he was already maxed out. That is just... It's insane. Ah, uh, yeah. 
I think Ores, you were there on stream when he did that, right? Yeah, yep. <laughs> Thankfully, I, I pulled a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I would like to have more copies of them, not Gogeta Blue, but you know. I mean, I pulled three copies of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Oh, I was happy. I mean, I pulled UI Goku. Anybody want to trade? Oh, okay. No, thank yeah, you. I was wondering, why is UI Goku in this banner? It literally, L every LF is a fusion. Except like Zenka a incoming. L Goku. Zenka incoming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see about that. Um, speaking I mean, realistically, if we're talking about the next L of Zenkai, besides the green Vegeta... Don't say Vegeta, Vegeta Blue. Uh, no, I wasn't going to say that. Besides okay, the green <laughs> Vegeta, like, who yeah. is the Zenkai? Majin Vegeta? Like, it, it's him and then you, I go, I think. Probably. I mean, the green Vegeta has been in <laughs> collecting dust for such a long time. Yep, still got his platinum equipment just sitting there crying on his platinum equipment. So, yep. just waiting for his chance to shine again. Maybe he'll get I think it. that's a good kit, too. I think that's a good kit. <laughs> you know what they're going to do? Instead of giving a Zenkai out, they'll just awaken his platinum equip. Oh. <laughs> and then you're oh, going to use more just... CC than on the Zenkai. Oh, oh that's no. just so much slander towards Vegeta. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let's change the topic then. Fair enough. Um, we're, getting, we're getting something else incoming, and that is uh, the changes to the PvP rating point system. ZVG, um, I guess you saw that tweet, right? How do you feel about it? First thing I want to say is I want to give credit to Toshi and the Legends team for even listening to the feedback about the, um, the whole RP system. Okay, so for the casual player, the RP system that they have right now is great. Like, you can get top 10k easily. But for anybody grinding, like, the top 1,000 to top 100 is, like, it's really, really, really bad. Because you lose way too much RP um, if you lose a match. And in this game, there's a lot of BS that can happen with lag, rising rush, miss inputs, all that. So you losing a match and then having to see minus 120 is pretty bad. Um, but they are going to be reducing the amount that you lose, which is great. Um, and they're also going to increase the daily win bonus to 200 to 700, which I think is... Is fine nothing too major but one thing that i really wish that they did was we know that they're never going to make the queue um better because the matchmaking is is a, i think the biggest issue because there should never be a reason why i should find somebody with four to six thousand rp less than me so what i wish that they did was i wish that they um that they made win streak bonus like actually good like make it stackable over and over and over again so if you continue winning you get way more rp because if I find somebody with like a 4k, 6k RP difference, I'm only going to get 3rp and my win bonus won't even activate on that. Like it's just, what's the point of me being on a win streak if it's just not, not going to give me a decent amount of RP. Right? But I think everything else is is great. Um, us losing less is fantastic. Thank you for that. But um, I really wish that they made it so that the win streak bonus actually mattered in a sense. But everything else is, um, I like it. It's great. All right, one one thing I just want to say about the banner one, one before we wrap that up oh. is the last thing I forgot to say about the banner was I I really would have liked at least one other new unit. I like just mm. one ultra character as the new character. I, I don't know. It, it rubs me the wrong way. I think LF Jenimba oh. should have been on the banner for being real. <clears throat> well, dude, not even an LF, just like a one percent sparking at least, or even a copy paste EX character. Like, I, <laughs> hello. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Uh, anyway, uh, for the RP stuff, I mean, I, we're not going to be able to really say un anything about it until we see how much they changed it, right? Because it just <laughs> says the RP penalty for a loss will decrease. That doesn't tell right. me anything. It could be some people in chat were saying it's going to from minus 100 to minus 99. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no. Oh, it's Please don't say that. <laughs> you guys are going to jinx it, literally. But. Yeah. I guess we just have to wait and see. Yep. Well, but yeah. this, does, this this does sort of devalue God rank, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it does. It does for for sure. It makes I it mean, makes my life more God stress free, though. <laughs> same, same. Maybe na same. maybe now I can try and get no rising rush God rank for for <laughs> once, because <laughs> I I gave up. This like for me it was not possible. <laughs> I was like, nope. Yeah. Dude, I cannot imagine trying to grind for like top one hundred, top ten, and you. When like multiple matches after a match and you get like two through five rating points and you lose one match and you get taken away like a hundred. I like I cannot imagine Dude, that. I I'm I don't want to go through that stress. I'm sorry, I'm already old enough. If you <laughs> lost if you lost one game, it would take like forty games to get back the RP that you lost. I'm I'm not joking. Like you have to win like forty in a row to get back to where you were. It, it, it's it's that crazy. 
is I'm sorry, my birthday just passed, and I'm not, I'm not trying to age again this year. Like, I, no. Yeah, because <laughs> then, the, then your avatar will have gray hair. Oh, no, they can Photoshop that. Don't say that. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, hey, we I have mean, a graphics really. department. Um, <clears throat> <throat> 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 Cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Request at least made. This, at least they have noticed that uh, something yeah. was really wrong, and at least they are addressing it. And uh, yeah. for sure, it doesn't really tell us right now, but at least they are trying to do something about it. All we have to do is wait and see. Please, the best part is they the acknowledged it. Good. Yeah, at least they Thank acknowledged you. it. There are so many that got stress over this. The one thing I that I one find. Of those included. Yeah, the one thing that I find interesting, though, is they are also saying the RP penalty for matches that don't end correctly will decrease, which um, could mean one or two things, I guess. The first thing is um, they're acknowledging that Legends itself has connection problems where, you know, sometimes the match will just disconnect uh, just from the game, just by, you know, because of the game being the game. Um, mm -hmm. but, but then again, most of the times when that happens, you just get a bot. However, that could also mean that they saw that there are those RP, those DC hackers, which basically force a disconnect on your end, and they don't have any idea what to do against them yet. What do you think? I think it's the second option for sure. I don't think it's yeah. the, the first, because th that would not make any sense. Because, yeah, that happened to me a couple of times, aside from being draw hacked. It's just this season I got DC hacked, I think, two or three times, and it's just like minus 200, minus 250, depending on... What the difference of RP is, and it's just oof, seriously. Yeah, I would have my fair share of draw hacks. And the funny part about it, I'm not even ranked high. It's like, why am I getting draw hacked up here? Are you kidding me? Bruh, what is this? <laughs> Actually, try up here, please, before you get to like top 100 or whatever. But, um, I, I feel like the wording could just mean even if like you actually disconnect from a match because your internet sucks, like you're going to lose less RP for that. Could be, no. Oh yeah, it's like, oh, if you're on a hot spot, yeah, we're gonna take all your RP. You, you don't deserve this. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna yoink this off of you. You playing with hot spot by McDonald's? Nah, no, we're not gonna have any of that. <laughs> McDonald's basement. Like every match. <laughs> Dude, some people do be playing in the McDonald's basement on the moon, though. Yeah, I'm not sure how a basement would be on the moon, but I 100% I agree with that. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm looking forward to it to see what they change with the RP system. I want to see. The next thing, please, either make the matchmaking better or increase the win streak bonus. Like, either one of those two things has to happen, man. The matchmaking is just so bad, dude. It, it's actually atrocious. Actually, yeah, man. I mean, the matchmaking is what people are raging about, too. It's because yeah. if you lose to someone that has, like, 4,000 or 5,000 RP less than you, like, you lose a lot while you mm -hmm. win nothing. It hurts the soul. And that's why people and are complaining about the RP system in general. Yeah. Because of that match. It's like they high risk, nothing. low reward. They lose 3 RP, bro. Mm -hmm. They lose 3 RP. Like... <laughs> they lose 5 yeah. ranks. Let's go. <laughs> yes, you know what, you know what I don't... You know what I don't get about the matchmaking? Because the way the matchmaking is supposed to work is it's supposed to search for the person that has the best connection to you to play. And what I don't understand is if I'm like rank 8,000 in PvP and I'm queuing up, how is it possible that I'm finding people that have like the worst possible connection? Yeah. <laughs> That's like you're, you're telling me there's you're telling me there's literally no players that they could have <laughs> matched me with when I'm top 8,000 that have a better connection. Mm -hmm. Seems a little weird to me. Yep. Also, no, why did I make God rank and I'm fighting like platinum? Like, they should have a limit to what rank you can fight. Yeah, same. I'm platinum and I fight rank. gold rank. Like, like, what is going it on? It makes no sense, dude. Like, what's the point of ranking at that point? Like, yeah. let's be real. You just get people like 12 battle ranks below you. Okay, so question about that. So if you are in guard rank, because I'm not good enough, I'll never get there. Anywho, my name is Clickbake. We're good at best. Nope. So if you are in guard rank and you are matchmaking, would you prefer to wait even longer to find somebody else that's in guard rank or get at least matched up with someone that's like in maybe high platinum? No, no. If, if, if they made sure you could only queue guard rank players, like you would get no games. I think I think that's why I'm not too, you know, forcing down yeah. the about the matchmaking. Instead, mm -hmm. make the win streak bonus good because normally I can be like 10, 20 
um, players in a row, right? But Must be nice. the win streak bonus <laughs> is literally nothing. It's it, it it's lit absolutely nothing. So make it mm -hmm. scale to how much you win actually, so that it won't be as taxing if you fed somebody with like four K RP less. Because normally you That's get sure. like about three RP. So if if I win twenty games in a row and I beat that same person, I should get like twenty RP or something uh, like that. Because like I've a been higher multiplier. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So that's why I, that's why I would much rather them fix the win streak bonus instead of them trying to fix the matchmaking because the matchmaking it happened a couple months ago where like once you hit a certain RP threshold, you would literally find no games, like literally. So I would not mm -hmm. want that to happen. Instead, just make the win streak bonus a lot better. That's I think that's the easiest way that they could fix this whole um RP sh sh shenanigan. Yeah, I would like the idea of a RP multiplier per win streak. So yeah. Yeah, and it should also not really just stop at like five matches. Because if you if you manage to win 10, 20, 30 matches in a row, <laughs> it should still kind of stack, even if it stacks just yes. a little bit. You know, it gives you like every 10 battles, you get five more and then you get something in between or I don't know, however you yeah. want to do it. But just, you know, if you manage, there was, I think the, the this JP guy last season, he managed to win like 40 matches in a row before he no, lost no, one. No, no. 120 or something like that. Or that, yeah, he went like a crazy amount of matches yeah. without a loss. You should you should definitely get rewarded for that. A for playing yeah. the game so much, which they want you to do, <laughs> and B for actually being so consistently good. You know. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Um. So since yeah, we're just gonna wait and see. The uh, the season is coming very soon. Um. It, I think it ends a day early. Um. So it's not on the Wednesday reset, yeah, but does. on the Monday to Tuesday reset. Um. Also because people in chat are discussing that right now. So let's move on and talk about those two upcoming Awakened Equips, Battle More. I think you were the one that actually brought those up. So let's start with the Awakened Ha. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, just uh, give me one sec. I'm just thinking. Uh, ha literally is a good equipment, but it's restricted to Saga from the movie and Fusion. That means only Gogeta is able to have this, like every variation of Gogeta. But it, is, it does give base strike attack up to 20%, both defense it up to 12%, but uh, instead of the normal one that usually only gives health, this one gives health at either blast and strike together. It's a pretty good equipment, but uh, it's kind of based, but it's good too. So what do you guys think about this equipment? I mean, health equipment is always good. There's, by the way, there's one unit that I think can use this equip as well. No, it's Fusion, not Fusion Warrior. Sorry, never mind. I was, I was about to look for Android 13, but nope. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's only from a saga from the movies and Fusion. Yeah. So that, that's why only Gogeta is able to have right. it. Right. I mean, I already have that equip on my Go Super Gogeta, um, you know, because of the HP and all that stuff. And now he's just getting more, but it also just means I need to actually awaken... 205 million more to get a good one. And I am running yeah. very low on those rush medals because, well, Zenkai Souls and other Awakened Equips are just, you know, draining me dry. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a C plus or a C on the other equipment, just keep those until you get a good roll yep. on this. I'm not going to sacrifice that without, you know, any <laughs> any replacement for sure, yeah. Yeah, but it gives you more an offensive, uh, which, uh, yeah, more not just the uh, health and defense, because uh, the normal one only has 13% of strike attack if you max it that out in right. the first slot. Meanwhile, the Awakened is uh, 20. Meanwhile, the third slot gives you an additional 10% if you want to. Or blast attack if you just want to shift, the uh, shift around a little. But yeah, either way, the, it's a pretty good equipment for all Gogetas. Definitely. All right, shall we look at the other one? Come on and give me your best shot. I feel like this equipment is more interesting because the first slot gives you either 15% of critical or 15% key recovery. Both of them are meh, but it depends on what team you run, like uh, Super Saiyan. And since it's only for every fusion warrior, you can technically have this on uh, Gogeta, the new one, the Ultra, making sure if you want to run with Bardock or if you want to just put it on... Uh, the LF uh, Super Vegito, literally just to be, uh, build up the crits. It will work really well. Also, the second slot it gives up to 20% to blast damage, while the third slot gives either blast attack or strike attack up to 35. And that is a lot. 
Like, damn, that is a more of a unique equipment than an Awakened. Yeah, those are almost Zenkai-like stats. 35%? Oh, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. And uh, every Fusion Warrior can have this. That means even those who um, are not really on the Fusion Warrior, like uh, Omega Shenron, Super 17, Fusion Android 13, if you actually use him. Zamasu. I guess. Yeah, Zamasu, Zamasu. Go tanks. Like there, there's a Kefla. The, this equipment is really good. Like God. Yeah, this is this is literally an equipment. I think you want three for the strike and three for the blast. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fun. Especially since they're awakened equips, those are always very easy to grind, right? <laughs> I mean, I if you are not uh... way to focus on the first slot, then you can farm these but uh, depends on if you want to farm criticals or base recovery Key ever since i went five hundred thousand rush medals without a single yellow slot one i stopped uh, doing i'm anything. sorry yeah, i'm sorry <laughs> dude i am so sorry that that must have traumatized you have you talked to anybody about this uh yeah i have and uh I gave him a piece of my mind about it's it. fine we're here, for you. we're here for you it's Riku fine remembers yeah. that yeah, yeah. how about we but, take a seat over here, Gorash? Let's talk about it later. <laughs> yeah, just just good, just sit down on the couch. You know, Rico is gonna come and be with you in a minute. <laughs> Doctor yeah. Dark Knight at your service. <laughs> <laughs> while, like I said, while Ha is a really good equipment, this is no restriction on any fusions, and it is really good. And yeah, literally recommend to farm like six of these because if you're running fusion warriors, this is way too good to pass up. At least, like, slot one is the one that matters the least on this one, right? Yeah. yeah. So you can just get mm -hmm. any of those two stats. Yeah. But if you want to focus on the highest rarity of stats, like, if you're running Super Saiyans with this, for example, then you want the base critical. If you don't run with Super Saiyans, you just want base re key recovery, because, yeah. It's actually pretty funny, because now that I think about it, one way they could, quote-unquote, fix Awakened Equipment is they could just make the slot one, like, bet, like terrible on all these Awakened Equipments. Yeah, and, like, so make slots two and th yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes slots two and three like really, really good, like this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or they can actually make sure you can actually re-roll the first slot. Yeah, I would like for that to happen, but I doubt it, honestly. Uh, I very much doubt it too. But they can just keep giving us a horrible, uh, you know, stat for the first slot. I'll be happy with that. I'll, I'm not <laughs> stressing me out any. I'll take it. Just worry about slot two and three. Yeah, while, there, while there are two other equipment that came with the Super Gogeta event, uh, they are back and forward. There is just one that uh, brought to my mind. It's, uh, it's uh, the one who has a 10% chance against more powerful opponent. And only Fusion Warrior is able to have that equipment. Yeah. That's what is the bonus for me, but the, the other equipment is more of a base for other World Warrior. But yeah, I do recommend the, the come on and give me your best shot to grind. Ha is back and forward. If you want more health and stuff to focus on that, then I, yeah, I recommend you farm that too. But uh, the, I suggest you focus on come on and give me your best shot. The thing about the Ha equipment, the Awakened one, is yeah. that that one's only for movies fusions right so yeah. like, for example super saiyan 4 gogeta could st still needs like the unawakened one so yeah mm -hmm. true so if you have a good one at least you still have use for it yeah yeah because I, I did I, I, I the one thing i actually hate with awakened equipment is where they'll keep the same exact restriction for the awakened one so it makes the it makes the unawakened ones actually worthless yeah they're just like okay they're just fodder now at this point yeah it's done. Yeah. Or just a, like a placeholder until you actually get a good one. Yeah, the problem with Ha too is that uh, the only difference that gives a lot is the third and the first slot. Like the middle slot, just 2% extra uh, compared to the normal one. Yeah, man, they want you to get that damage off. <laughs> they, they just want to give it more damage, no defenses. Yes, they up the like two. The health is still the same, like 10%. Yeah, they basically just want you to swing first with that equipment, you know? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, hit me with your best shot and then make sure not to get hit <laughs> back. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So, yeah, you, uh, you heard it here first, guys. Uh, make sure you grind that. Come on and give me your best shot. And then depending on what your team is, you can use Ha um, and awaken that one. 
Now, one more thing that we have here as well is um, something that people were thinking as soon as the Super Gogeta event was announced, and that is a potential Zenkai for the green Super Gogeta. Um, how would you like him to be, Battlemore? I mean, take away the restriction of uh, he getting card draw speed after 40 counts, please and thank you. Like, I want that immediately. I don't really want him to have taking his time before he gets the card draw speed. That is, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I actually made a video that went up today <laughs> using this guy on the Ironically. team. It was, it was triple Super Gogeta. I'm like, okay, great. Um, I, I actually think this Fusion Reborn unique ability, I, I, like, I'm, I'm very confident this is one of the single worst unique abilities in the entire game. Because for the first 40 counts, it does nothing. Like, mm -hmm. it actually doesn't do anything. Like, I kind of want this everything to be just immediately, like, and put something else in it. Like, he gets he gets all that power up after 40 time accounts, and he does literally nothing in the beginning. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be long dead by then, you know? Yeah, especially in this meta, like, one-shotting hits with the Goku and Vegeta, blue card. Make sure he gets type neutrality, too. That would be great. It, he reminds me of Beerus in the, in the way that the only thing I liked about Beerus is that he locked main ability, and that was the only thing I found really nice and interesting about him at the time when he came out. And for him, probably the only thing I like is his green card. That's... I, I think he needs Jesus at this point. I, I yeah. wouldn't even know how to save him, to be honest. Like, I didn't like him, or I didn't really like Janemba that much when they first dropped. I actually thought that was one of the worst banners in history. But, you know, that's just me. I mean, yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, the, this Gogeta, it's going to be hard to make sure he's good because he literally has nothing in his kit that's powering him up except for after 40 time accounts. I mean, for sure, 50% blast damage, sure, when that, and if you're against the transforming warriors, they could change that to powerful opponent now. That would yeah. be more better, at least. I wish they could increase it because I feel like he has no damage cut. He has no. He hurt. He hurts, man. Like he, he... I want him <laughs> to be good, but every time I tried, it felt like I got bodied. I mean, I I had a situation where I use this guy's main ability with his with his full unique abilities like up. I used the blue card with the 100% extra damage to an enemy blue Gogeta, and it did like 15% of his health. Yeah, oh. the, the multipliers are not there, man. He needs more. Like He just needs set... a lot of early damage. A lot of yeah. his stuff is late bloomer, and even then, it doesn't even seem... It, it still seems underwhelming, even for a late game. Like, he just yeah. needs something early, or just needs something that's just more yeah. non-cancelable once. I don't know. Yeah, can, you imagine if they, can you imagine if they didn't Zenkai him? Don't say that, please. No. I mean, then he would just guide you. Uh, it, 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 them giving you this character is actually insulting if they don't Zenkai. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> I mean, we it. literally got the event. He should be getting a Zenkai. It's the same with the Kaba. Well, we literally got a Zenkai after that. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about Kaba. Oh, I get home too. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like the green Zenkai has been weird lately. Slandered. <laughs> What, am I wrong? No, they have been slandered, is what yeah. I meant. Yeah, the green Zinkais have been slandered. That is true. Like, I, feel, I feel like they need to remove, either remove the count, or at least give it after 10 time count. Because this is... Uh... Well, <laughs> I think what they should do <clears throat> is they should at least have some of the main ability immediately. Like, maybe yeah. he gets... Maybe he gets... 30% damage and card draw speed right away. And then after 40 counts, he heals 20% and gets 20% more damage or something like that. Yeah, it could be because like staged, uh, like um, Broly gets 40 time accounts and then after 60 time accounts, he gets Dragon Balls. Dude, again, this is literally one of the single worst unique abilities in the entire game because for the first 40 counts, which could decide a whole match, especially with all the Super Saiyan teams running around. Oh yeah. This mm. does nothing. nothing nothing the only one the only thing that makes this more unique is the green card yeah that's all i said green card is the only reason i like him that's it yeah that's, that's why i brought up beerus as well with him locking main abilities which is yeah, a really good so, ability too so if they are going to senka him they really have to 
work for it because I feel like this is going to be hard. <laughs> if they really want him to be good, especially when it's a fusion warrior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he'll zank above green Super Saiyans too. Oh, Somebody in uh, chat said green other world warriors. <laughs> that's a good one, yeah. Isn't there like a hero, no. a Pycon or something he can buff then? I mean, green saga from Moon is <laughs> yeah, I forgot green about Green other world warriors? Yeah, there's, a, there's this super Kaioken, that's pretty much it. Ah, uh, true. Oh, yeah. True, true. Now, the one thing that would make him, like, uh, I could see him just getting the stats, because one thing that he will always get from Zenkai is uh, better stats, because he's pretty decent in TOP, he's just so squishy that most people don't bring him on, like, movies teams. Because he gets like a free super and stuff like that. But he just takes so much damage that you don't want to run him. Kind of like Goresh's Bootings experience, I guess. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, yeah, dude. I love that one. I, first match, he died. It's like, all right, cool. So that's, yeah. that's, you, you, you don't really want to sink him just to be benched. You want to at least use him. Yeah, in TOP. <laughs> I mean, and the real question is, how good will they make him with Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta already being on Fusion Warrior? <clears throat> I mean, he's not gonna replace good Super Saiyan. Oh no, no but... not yeah, no, not by a long shot. And he should. I feel like will actually, he... one way they could actually like make him different enough is to make him like specifically really good on movies. I guess. Yeah, steer him away from Fusion Warrior. Yeah, I mean, or it could be uh, just again Fusion. It doesn't. But then I'll still Fusion use that Green Broly anyway, you know. But yeah. But then again, dude, are you really gonna use this character on on the movies team? Think about how stacked that team is. Like, come on. Yeah, like With you green have to be godsend. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sad. I forgot about him during the first when he first came out too. I'm so mad. I 14 starred him, and it's like, Same. oh, I guess you just you just sit here because I usually don't 14 star units when they first come out. You know, I'm not Gorash or anything, but you know. I put my fair share into banners and he so I happened to be the first one of 14 star and I'm like, Ugh. okay, that's that's dope. You know, still got like a three star Gohan, but you know, pop off King. And I don't know, dude, like <laughs> I just cannot see him being Zenkai anytime soon. Like <sighs> he wouldn't have a place anywhere. <laughs> he really wouldn't. Not on movies, not on fusion warriors, not on a, a, a bootleg Saiyan team, like it, nah. all, it all depends on what the other two unique abilities Unless they bring out another bad. PyCon or whatever that's actually good and not meme worthy. And mean? then have this ability is geared towards that or something. I don't know. Dude, with the boost system, that red PyCon is good. You know, he could beat me up. I mean, Gorish tried with PyCon. How dare you? But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was before the boost system. Yeah, true. That's true. <laughs> the best unit to feed to a rising rush, right? Uh, yep, him and yellow yeah. turtles. Him and uh, green Kaba. Oh yeah. Dude, sorry. The I don't Yellow like Kaba, video sorry. is so infamous, bro. I think I think I think that's the only video I've ever seen of Gurish where he already says the unit sucks in the title. <laughs> like that was hilarious. Yeah, and and everybody, didn't back. everybody everybody disagreed and they were all wrong. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, what the this Gogeta needs is like a lot of damage cut, a lot of much base stats. Yeah. Uh, kind of that, and just let's see what uh, more other unique abilities like getting a blast when he enters the field or key that would help too. I like how he gets a buff. Hold on, wait, wait, what is this ability? Is this a, uh... Okay, so yeah, he gets a buff with the number of members that you have. Like, he's not going to be the first one to die anyway. It's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and then the problem with that uh, three to <laughs> yeah, you two see to it? one, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's all still 50. Like, you're not the rise rush target, buddy. Okay. <laughs> Sure. Oh, we get to it. It goes from fifty percent blast damage to fifty percent all damage. So strikes are gonna go from hitting from three damage to four damage. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, to a blast damage unit. Wow. Yeah. So it's they. This unit needs a miracle with his. I mean, you know, you know, this unit's in a bad spot when literally he was dead on arrival. No one used this character when he came out. He, nobody. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I struggled for a showcase, man, and that's bad. Everyone was when this guy came out. Then. Back when this guy came out, Super Vegito was still like in his prime. So yeah. yeah. And everyone who wanted the units was literally only summoning for Gen Emma. They came way too early for another Gogeta and Gen Emma, if I'm being frank. Yeah, I agree. No, I, dude, this is, an ult, this is an ultra space time banner. <laughs> <laughs> but Super Gogeta. Who remembers these anyways? <laughs>
Uh, I remember it being like the worst banner in history, like top five, easy. There should be, Gorash, you should do this if you have not, like a top five worst banners ever. I'm sure you have. <laughs> you know, number you one know which one's number one, the, right? the God like... Goku and Vegeta from the Broly. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't as bad. That wasn't as bad. The worst banner is Baby, is, is, um, Baby Vegeta Sin and Sin Shenron facts. Like, that has been the worst <laughs> in history, dude. Like, but didn't that have 999 Z power? Yeah, that had 999. That's the only oh, yeah. thing. So yeah. Dude, the Goku, the, the Broly movie God Goku and Vegeta banner had no perk. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the bind, the bind coup? Ever. They were literally the only yeah. two units. Oh, God. You'd only get like 600 C power. And that was like. I forgot about him after a week, dude. It was crazy. Bro, the perfect, <laughs> the Rage Vegeta, the Super Sentry Goku banner, that banner was kind of bad too, honestly. Yo, that had EX Bra Boo on it, dude. Come on. It did? Uh... Yeah, EX uh, Evil Boo. That's wow. when that came. Okay, that oh yeah, yes, Evil Boo was he was he was legit. I, I I remember not pulling him until later, but yeah, oh my god, yeah, same. He yeah, was such a beast coming out. Coming out. <laughs> when the Boo first dropped the Fat Boy thing in Goten, wasn't he the only was... first unit with poison? Oh, the Deborah banner that was a good one. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, before we completely reminisce and go down that rabbit hole, we have one little more thing. Um, and I'm going to give that one over to you, Goresh. What does this free-to-play pod freezer need to do to make LOE anything? I don't even oh, know easy. what to say. He needs to, have, uh, he needs to have Endurance, Revival, Nullify Endurance, <laughs> Nullify Revival. He needs to have, like, Blast Armor, uh, Supreme Damage uh, mixed on his strike cards, you know. Um, Goresh, please. No, like he's right. 6 million HP. It's free-to-play. Come on. Destroys, destroys seven Dragon Balls on cover cut. All that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unavoidable super. As soon as you, you like trigger a super, you lose it like evasion. Like, like you reduces have to get hit with it. Reduces sub count yeah. of allies and himself by ten when he enters the battlefield. The very yeah, first he, free to play free <clears throat> sale. He locks in enemies for seventy timer counts. Fifty percent to special move after using a special move. Um, and draws <laughs> draws another special move and gets hundred key. Yeah, and his blast mm. cards give five dragon walls. That's all. That's all he needs. You start all their cards on evasion. <laughs> yeah. But wait, that's it, Goresh? That's not not nothing more. Yeah, that would be good uh, enough to get them color. to like. That would be good enough to get the team to tier one. Yeah, because so they put them color? on the map for one season, yeah. and they just bring out another unit. Yeah, free no, unit. No, it's because featured boost. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. What about color? What do you want him to be? Uh, it's got to be. Don't green say light. Red. Oh, yeah, dark, dark, dark. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 you're not good for today. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just cannot be. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'd say red or green. I mean, those are the two colors the team needs the most. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, unless you want to do blue. I mean, is he going to be better than Zenkai Cooler? Probably not. Eh. Uh, so probably red or green. Mm -hmm. He should be a tag unit. He's in his wheelchair, then he jumps out of his wheelchair. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> And then goes back in, like back and forth. Like. Yeah. He's just like, okay, now I'm tired of standing. Let me sit back in my chair. And then he goes back to his like normal typing. And then he reverses five typing. Sec five second animation if I'm getting out of this pod. <laughs> <laughs> Every four like I saw, counts. I saw people saying like, oh yeah, they, they made like the yellow rosé good. So this freezer could be good. Dude, if, if LOE got it's a LOE. unit as good as... If LOE got as good of a unit as Yellow Rosé, that would like turn the needle like one one hundredth of where it needs to be to make the team Just good. Don't let it be like Code Goku. Okay. Oh my god, dude, that Code Goku. <laughs> I don't want to talk about him. I, I did not want to showcase him a second time. I said, no, nah, this is all you get. Yeah. <laughs> chill, people, chill. But the, on, on, a real, on a real note, though, this is like the main issue that I have with them neglecting a tag for so long is because we're gonna get you get to a point like this with loe where they're so far behind that how in the hell do you catch up this team to the rest of the game well i'm guessing you can you can go the premium route they did with gt right just like release three zenkais in three weeks but dude with gt they literally released like nine units in like two months yeah loe has two characters on it this is this is you want to hear I'm my sorry. solution to the issue my solution to the issue is you this is, I've been saying this for like a year and a half now. You combine Frieza Force and LOE into one tag. Make it like, I don't know, like Planet Trade Federation or something. That's it. It's so easy. How do you spell that? What? Sorry, can you say like, that again? Well, that, that, that's, like the, that's like what the Frieza like company or whatever is called. That's the same <laughs> thing they did with Vegeta Clan, right? They just like sort of like yeah. added all these Vegeta's to And now I can to use Great Apes of Vegeta Clan. Yeah. All you, gotta do is just, the game. all you gotta do is just combine the tags together and make it one team. They could also just release like a 
couple of shields and king holds that are usable. I guess, but like great units. They really smell like free that. units, like yeah. king code and yeah. mecha freeze or whatnot. Yep, so. the family business. I like that one. All right. Um, so yeah, I would say we cut off here. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break and we will be back in three minutes taking your questions. As always, uh, we will take priority for donations, but we'll try and answer as many as possible. So go get yourself a drink, get some popcorn, whatever you need to do. And we'll see you back here in three. All right, here we are I'm back again. And I am going to hand it over to MC Riku to take your questions. Take it away. Yes, I will be taking your guys' questions. Please ask good questions. No, you guys can ask anything. Uh, Let's see. The first question we are going to take is, uh, do you think we'll get Tournament of Power as the theme they push after New Year's? Hmm. Uh, maybe. I saw, I mean, now that we know we're not getting like Ultra Instinct Goku for this New Year's, I saw a lot of people saying how they think that they, that they think Ultra Instinct Goku will be for the four year anniversary. So if they want to do that, they could build up to it, maybe. But I actually, I actually don't think that that's going to be the case. Yeah, there I is remember. still there is still a lot of units that from the Tournament of Power that has not been released. Yeah, honestly, that's why I want them to stretch it out as far as possible and not just throw out MUI Goku and full power G Red on Black Friday like I already knew they yeah. weren't coming because it's way too early. But Good. you know, it's good that they do stretch it out so they won't get to re. Passion units already because I don't know why they did that with the Goju and Janemba. But on another note, another question. Are we good with that question? Anyone else? We're good. Thumbs up. All right. So from A356, what good PVE content can they implement during big celebration besides only raids? Um, it's a tough one. Challenge a Rush. Tough one. Oh, yeah. Challenge Rush. Challenge yeah. rush. I forgot about that. Yeah, that was from the first daddy, right? I don't even remember. Yeah. It's been for 84 it's been like years. It's been a year plus, right? For the last challenge rush? Because I used to rage on those like those things. Yeah, they yeah, were really the good. The bar was really crazy good. It's like, oof. It hurt. Yeah, I mean. It hurt a lot. Those were at least, you know, challenging, literally. Um, same as the the rising battle or whatever it was. The one where you fought full power Frieza with Namek Goku or you were screwed. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But something yeah, that you don't I'm just, like you know, like rush. something you don't just cheese on the first try and get all the challenges done right away, but something where you actually have to try. You know what? For them to not want us to cheese, to be honest, they can just have UI Goku in every battle. Just, you know, <laughs> drop the combo. Oh, to not be able True. to float stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of want to have that event. Uh, you know, the Super Gogeta where he has different animations that we cannot get. Them from Super. I mean, the one from like 2018, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. where is that unit? Where, why haven't we got that unit? I have like no that? idea <laughs> why they haven't released him as a free unit. It's in the game, like, why didn't they just? Well, that blue it? card looks ridiculously good, too. Would you guys have rather had Coat Goku or that Gogeta? That Gogeta. <laughs> I'm ignoring that question, so yeah. on to the next question <laughs> <laughs> from Sammy13. Do you guys? think that them making the banner of Gogeta stay only for 12 days is a way for them to test the waters with the fan base or is there you know, or there might be another way behind it absolutely i think it's uh, to test uh, how this is going to go well how the mm -hmm. banner will be in the future and yeah yeah I and i think it's also what you said earlier rico is just this uh, like illusion of scarcity to make people jump in now because i'm pretty sure a lot of people are dry on cc because they're still summoning on goku and vegeta or trunks because mm -hmm. the banners are fantastic but now mm -hmm. it's like oh we don't know when he's coming back we need to get him now or we might not yeah, get him for like another a, year a, a, a panic right now it's yeah. like oh do we summon for super gogeta and and, and then, then we so also don't rough. even know what the new year's happy backs whatever lf guaranteed mm -hmm. banner is going to look like so that might also be really good yeah all right, so we have a, another question from Esco Saitama. Who do you guys think is going to be the LF for January? Or who do you want it to be? Yeah, so, I think it's going to be cooler. Same. I want him to be there. Question. So if you think it's going to be cooler, so who came on January? Was it LF uh, Full Power Frieza? Did he Future come on January? Future gone? 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then he came out after that or something like that. Wait, which one? Came out Full Power Freeza came out in August, I think. Yeah. Oh, it was August? Yeah. Oh, God. After, okay. after Revival Gohan. Oh, <laughs> they knew exactly what they were doing. Okay. So, <laughs> you said cooler? Mm, let me think yeah. about that. I mean, they literally had an all-star banner on the, where Goku and Piccolo in that. But since the event uh, celebration stuff happened, they will not be able to put that cooler because they want to put everything else. Like, I honestly, I, I couldn't give a name if I wanted to, to be honest, because I would have to think long and hard about it. It's like, will they continue to ride the movie saga wave with the, the units or will they pick, like, I don't know. I would have to actually think about that and I can't just throw out a name. Like, I, I wasn't as sure about it like I was when I was like, you know, I went to see LF Cell and then he came. I was like, oh, they like me. And then but did you I don't you see want him anymore. <laughs> did you want LF Bardock? Yeah, but I don't think it's the right time for him, to be honest. I'm gonna uh, say Beerus. Yeah, I want to see a Hakai Beerus to be honest. Ooh. But I, yeah, yeah, I want to see Hakai Beerus and a Sparky Weiss, honestly. Or Buhan. Tien. <sighs> I want a Buhan. Oh, remember the when Wootings came out? Or, yeah. Oh, I want Ma Master. Nope, don't remember that. Or Jackie yes, Chan. I feel I like Dragon Buhan. Ball Saga has been uh, way too underrated right now. We need more Dragon Ball Saga too. Honestly, they have been off of Dragon Ball Saga and Legends Row for a while, huh? Yeah. The, the, at the beginning of uh, this year, before this all ends, was the uh, launch and Yamcha release. Well, all right, we're well, going to go... If, if I'm oh. thinking correctly. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to go into the next... I love the baby. Oh, my God. We're going to go into the next question from Maverick YT, of course. Thoughts on the new mid-range strike meta? <laughs> Do you guys think it's going to... LOL. Do you guys think it's going to age well or will some other thing top it? Rush, what do you think? Yeah, I feel like this uh, is people will, direct to you. People will continue doing it and they'll continue losing. So hopefully hopefully it continues. You didn't give me a chance to read each other to get another question. Thank you, Gorosh. Uh, anywho, so <laughs> haha, on to the next question from Shablam. How do you feel about the tier system changes? The changes they made doesn't seem to make much sense to me. What tier system changes exactly? Like the boost system? Yeah, I think he's talking about the, the boost system added to PvP. Like the Z tiers for this um for this season yes. and whatnot. I mean, I don't really have anything against the boost system except for a feature, but uh, everything else sounds very good. Yeah, I'm sure they did that with the feature units just to, you know, get even more damage output from the, the newer unit. I mean, I don't know, because, uh, you know, you have some of the other units in lower tiers, I would assume, get even higher buff and whatnot, but still aren't as good because it's not all about the percentage you get from, like, certain values. You have to actually have a good kit to still be usable, I would say. So... Yeah, like I said, minus the featured, I guess. I, I I do enjoy. Oh, I don't have EX Freezer. I do enjoy the 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 boosted units for the season. Minus featured. Yeah, minus. I mean, featured, I, I get why they're doing it though. But, no. Money, money, yeah. money. What? Indeed. I didn't say that. It's all recorded. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's, who said that? Ah, uh, it must be a Casper the Ghost. Uh, all right, Dude, another Ellington. question from <laughs> another question from Broly Chan. Do you think we will get two guaranteed LFs for the New Year's banner per multi? Wait, what? what? Bro Broly Chan, hear me out. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. Thank, thank you. <laughs> but it's the festival. Yeah, no. I think it's also yeah, going to no. be. I mean, I have to say. Uh, these banners were fantastic in terms of the amount of LFs uh, you got regardless, like the one guaranteed. And I think on average, I got two every multi. I got super lucky on this banner. Obviously, you could still get, you know, shaft, shafted, quote unquote, and just getting the guaranteed one. But those banners Ooh. were great last year. I like yeah. this question because it's very uh, random. All right. So we have another question from Filthy Mortals. Lol. Are you Samasu, by the way? His question was, any predictions on which character will be the first to lock unique gauge? So I'm going to have my input right now. Ah, uh, uh, that sounds so? overly broken just because <laughs> UI Goku is just LOL. It's just, a, you know, uh, yeah, it's just dude, not going to uh, exist. <laughs> we don't need mechanics that lock every other mechanic. Like it's, and it comes to a point where it's very stupid. 
Like, yeah. oh, dude, we get we get like the first unique gauge character. Oh, when is the unique gauge nullifying character coming out? We get uh, the first tag character. Oh, well, dude, when is the character that nullifies the tag mechanic coming out? <laughs> like, why do we need all these counters? Like, we don't need this. Goku slash Goku tag because his unique is locked. But um, anywho, yeah, that would be honestly way too powerful, I would say. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. So <laughs> another question from Az Azizi? Question mark. Uh, is there a unit you guys are afraid of to get a Zenkai? IT Goku? Yellow Gohan. Vegito Yellow Blue? Gohan. Yellow Gohan. Yellow Gohan. <laughs> 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 Wait, fu future Go? I'm kidding. But does he mean normal units or LF or everything? Everything, I guess. Yeah, I think it means everything. Oh, then yeah, it's still Vegito Blue for me. I like how Azik said we need a unit to counter Bootangs in chat. <laughs> Now we need a unit to bot, like to make him usable for Christ's sake. Help him. Please. And we, we need a counter for Green Baby. I think that's more like it. No, yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, so we have another question from Prototype Fish. When will Mecha Freeze and King Code come to Legends with an LF Future Trunks? Whoa, 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 whoa. We just got LF Future Trunks, but uh, I, th I, I personally think Mecha Freeze and King Code would be like perfect free units, but I mean, we also have. An Ultra Scouter Vegeta. What was it? Uh, Dirty Fireworks Vegeta, which was not expected from me anyway. Because I went to Super Saiyan Big Bang Attack of Vegeta. Yeah, that was yeah. left field. I don't think anybody cares about that, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh, you, you mean Scouter Vegeta, right? As well? Yeah. 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 yeah same. Okay. What about King Code and Mecha Frieza? No, you love Lineage of Evil, so. Yeah, like but even him. I'm not a huge fan of Mecha Frieza. I thought that was mid. <gasps> he said it. Oh, uh, you heard it here <laughs> first, folks, from uh, the lineage of Evil Master. Okay. That's Is why that we're never getting we're never getting those units because Gresh said they're mid. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's see. What else do we have? Where someone is asking about Zenkai Vegeta Blue Oof. You know, that actually would be cool. How would you guys feel about a cooler and freeze attack? Okay, never mind. You know, I don't want to see another tag like that. A what if yeah. freeze and cooler tag unit? That would be insane. I would like that a lot. Yeah, since I you mean, don't like Mecha Freeza, it could be Mecha Freeza and King Code before they die by trunks. Is that a spoiler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shouldn't, there, shouldn't there be a um, tag that is more likely? I mean, there is a GT tag where freeze and sell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was great. Kid Goku. Yeah, he rides the Destructor disc into them. That, yeah. that was great, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. At one point, we're going to have characters for everything anyways. Yeah, you're not wrong. Because we're, we're getting to four year and we haven't covered all the units, which I'm actually wholeheartedly I think it's surprised. good. I think it's good, though, because they need it's to... It's good pacing. Yeah, they need to stretch it out as much as possible because... I mean, it's the longevity of the game kind of depends on it, right? Because once everything starts to just come back and it gets kind of, you know, one dimensional or boring, people are going to drop off. And also yeah, this gives we, them uh... like more time to wait for the new movie, for other stuff that's coming out in the franchise that they can also incorporate in that game. So it's kind of like mm -hmm. a, this, this self fueling loop, you know? Yeah, because we, we have a lot of stuff to come from. As far and then as we get Green Gogeta around. with the Kamehameha blue card. Please exactly. No. Rush. Gosh, please. Yeah, because we still have manga material yet has yet to be animated into the you know anime and whatnot. And then the movie comes out, so we're gonna have a lot of material for Dragon Ball Legends. And like I said, the, yeah, like you said as well, pacing is fine minus the revamp, the rehash. Go Junior Janemba, uh, Janemba English. Hello. Next question is from Fuji Matsu. All right, do you guys think Gogeta Blue? I is is that what your GB is? And corrupted merge Zamasu plus Zamasu assist. Wait, what? Oh, does the muscle assist to be back on uh, the banners? I know it's only allows your opinions. So, yeah. I mean, they will, be probably back? At, they will probably be back after four or five months after the release. Yeah, I think, I mean, corrupted, corrupted Merch Zamasu is now on two banners, right? He's on, uh, wait, is it yeah, a Trunks right. banner? Or is it, uh, he's on one of the two banners and then he's also mm -hmm. on the current Gogeta banner. So it's like, I don't think he's going to be back. Well, actually, he, yeah, if he's talking, wait. goes away next month. Yeah, but wait, actually, I think he's talking about like the guaranteed LF banners. So I don't I don't think that Zamasu um, assist unit, like the Rose and Zamasu will be back because they're still on the mm -hmm. other banner. So they don't, you know, they don't want to discourage people from summoning there. 
I don't think so. I think that, you know, Gogeta Blue and Corrupted Mercer Masu, they would probably be on the guaranteed LF banners. Like, they're old enough, in my opinion. My thoughts. Okay. All right. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So, now let's do another. one more. <laughs> okay. One more? Yeah. Mm, I'm find a good one. Damn it, chat. Don't disappoint us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking for a go and seeing what... Oh, my goodness. Hakai, Hakai. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we have? All right, so, you know, I'm going to end it off with this from uh, Shablam, you know. Again, if you could give an obscure character in LF, who would it be? Jajirobe. I think Ryudin will love that. <laughs> <laughs> An obscure mm. character, Gary Jr. Hero Pan. <laughs> <laughs> she just mocks you while legendary finishing you. <laughs> yep. Mm. Well, How can you live yourself when you're dying like this? This is not an obscure <laughs> character, but it's an obscure, for, like, second form Frieza where he impales Krillin. Like, that would be a cool. Why? D D Free I hope D Free's watching this. Yeah, D Free. Let's, let's shout out to you. Don't call him out. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm sure he's lurking every podcast. I do want to have a, a closing thought, too. So, out of the first five Sparky units, we have two of those have not been Zenkai, correct? Yellow Pycon and Blue Pan, because the Ray Goku, Purple... Oh, and Green Piccolo. Those are our only three original Sparkies that have yet to be Zenkai. Hmm. Mm, I'm waiting for Pycon. Either that or Pan. I just don't want Pan to get Zenkai. Mm, you guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> One of Pan's Zenkai unique abilities is 100% to or a hundred thousand percent the cure recovery yeah or or <laughs> or vanish restore so that you can actually do the like kind of replay the old sidestep meta so you're gonna be both counts you lose no key but uh yeah please no please no <laughs> uh, uh oh all right i think i think those were good closing words uh we're going to let this uh sink in for you guys and stew for a week um so we're gonna end off the podcast here Thank you, everybody, for hanging out in chat. And this podcast will go live on YouTube in about 24, 25 hours from now, depending on when we put it up, obviously. But if you want to rewatch it or you missed parts of it, uh, then make sure to go and give us a follow and subscription over on YouTube. Check our social medias. Everything is in the chat right now with the link tree. So give us a follow on Twitter to so be up to date with whatever we're doing. Sometimes people will just stream very impromptu. And you won't want to miss that. So drop us a follow here if you haven't done that. And make sure to follow our creators. Riku is uh, streaming on Twitch and uploading YouTube content for very, very frequently. ZVG is mostly active on Twitch, but also does YouTube stuff. Uh, we have Battle of More. I think he's a Twitch main, if I can say that. And if you don't know Goresh, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> and yeah, we wish you a very nice week. Happy holidays. Um, Happy New Year as well, because we will only see you back here in the new year. And with that said, have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See you, guys. Bye.